As a student, it's important to have a system for staying on top of your classes, exams, and assignments so that you can focus on the important learning. Here's a dashboard and system that makes this really easy in RimNote, which you can import from the link in the description in a single click. First, you can see this dashboard here, which shows any text you want at the top, maybe like your top three goals for the semester and your class schedule, but then also has these dynamic tables that are pulling in information from throughout your knowledge base automatically. Here you can see a list of all of your classes in this table here. You can easily jump back into each of them just by pressing open here, and then you can view the class information. Next on our dashboard here, you can automatically see assignments due this week, which will find anything with the due date in the next seven days. Exams this week, same thing, any exam in the next seven days, any projects that are in progress, and any unfinished to-dos. These tables are each pulling from tags that have been set up here. Tags are a really useful mechanism in RemNote for organizing ideas or content of the same type. Let's look through each of these one by one on the sidebar. Let's look at our classes first. You can open up any class again by just pressing open here. Within the class, you can see a table for lectures for the specific class, assignments, and exams. Whenever you're about to start a new lecture, just click on the add row button here, type in the lecture name, whatever you want, and then press open and you're immediately taking notes. You can see that's immediately linked to the class and the lecture date. If you would like, you can also set a status here. Maybe you like to go back and review your notes when you're done, or you like to make sure that you've started practicing the cards for them. Again, this is totally configurable and up to you. Within your lecture notes, you can make flashcards, create content, etc. Check out the video in the description for really effective note-taking techniques. If you hear about a new exam or lecture in class, you can go back to the class page here, scroll down to assignments and exams, and again, add this accordingly. Maybe you don't only have a lab report coming up, but also have to read chapter one, and that could be due on next Friday. You can even just type that into here and it will figure out the date for you. Here you can also track the status of each of your assignments. So if you've started them in progress, done, or whatever else you want to add. And you can do similar for exams, just defining their due date, any topics that might be on the exam. Maybe you want to make sure that you've always finished a practice exam for each one, so you can check that off here or not. And again, the class that it corresponds to. If you're in the middle of a lecture and want to quickly jot down a new assignment, you can also do so just by staying in your lecture notes and writing down the assignment name. So whatever it is, maybe just some um, homework one, and then typing the double hashtag sign to give this a tag and selecting this as an assignment. Because you've added this as an assignment within the class here, if we go back to our intro to biology, you'll see that that was automatically associated with intro to bio as well. This makes it easy to organize assignments from any lecture notes. To view all of your assignments in a single place, you can just click on the assignments tag in the sidebar. This opens up the assignments page. If you scroll down, this will both show you all of the instances of things tagged as assignment. In this case, we only have filled this out for intro to bio right now, but you can also see this view for assignments due this week. Again, the ones that are due in the next seven days. If you would like, you can customize this further. For example, I can add a new view here and then change this to filter down for anything that's the status of in progress or started. It'll now show me anything uh, with those statuses here. So for example, if I go and um, set read chapter one, two in progress, then that'll immediately appear here as well. This again lets me view everything in a single location without having to go and figure out where it is in my knowledge base or without having to remember to go to this document and add it there. All I need to do is tag it as assignment. The other tags on your sidebar are similar. Classes will show you everything that is tagged as a class, all of the current classes that you're in, or maybe ones in prior semesters as well if you want to go back and look at those. Exams will show you any exams, either those this week or just any that you've stored. Projects can be used to organize any projects that you're working on, and then lectures will just show you everything from across all of your classes. As you're taking notes in lectures and hopefully creating flashcards, you can then go to the flashcards page here and then quickly jump into practicing. You can either practice everything that's due today, or you can go down into a single individual class. For example, intro to bio, we might want to start practicing, or algorithms and data structures, intro to chemistry, 
In lectures, it's important to take notes and make flashcards so that you can remember what you're learning. All of your flashcards end up on the flashcards page here. You can then set any classes that you're currently in to the active status. So we've done that already with intro to bio here, but we could also do that with algorithms and data structures just by pressing on the icon here, changing it to active and doing the same for intro to chemistry. And now we have a nice active section that shows us any flashcards in these classes. If we press practice here, we'll automatically see any flashcards that were taken in lectures that are related to bio. If you want to just go try out this setup, go down to the link in the description and press import. For the rest of the video, we'll talk about how this was actually configured. This is all powered by Remnode's tables and tags features, which are super customizable so that you can change this for your own needs. We'll go through each tag one by one. The classes tag here has three properties, semester, which is just a single select for the semester that we're currently in, the professor's name, which is just a text box, and then the course website, which again is just text. Semester here is a set of flexible options. So if this is actually semester two, we can just type that in here and then switch that over to semester two. To add a new column in our table, just press the plus button here. You can then configure this property however you would like by setting its name and changing its type. The assignments tag has three properties. First, we have the due date, which is just a date. Then a class here is pretty interesting. This is a single select, but to any rem with the given tag. Then we've selected the tag here as classes. This means that when we're in our table here and we're setting the class for a given assignment, we'll automatically be shown anything in our classes table. Right now, we only have these three, biochems and algorithms. But if we go back here to classes and add some new class, maybe history, if we go back to our assignments now, we'll see that that automatically appears here. This is also powering the feature on the class, which is automatically showing us the assignments for that given class. Again, if we zoom into this here, we'll see that we see any assignments for this class. This page here, which is automatically shown for each class, is defined through the class template. If we go here, we can see that we have this default class template on the right. When opening that, we can see a class syllabus and then our tables for lectures, assignments, and exams. These tables are configured to only show relevant lectures, assignments, and exams that have a matching class property to the one that we're currently in. We can view this here by clicking on here and then looking at the filter. And we can see that the class filter is set up so that it's checking that it is only things that have the matching ancestor class. For example, if we wanted to start associating projects with our class as well, we could go down here, add a new table, use our existing tag of projects, give it a new column for classes here, and then it also changes this to be a single select linked to a specific tag where the tag is class and where we now add a filter where the class is the template instance with the tag classes. Now this would mean when we go to an individual class here, so maybe let's go to history, we can see once we um, update the template here that at the bottom we now have our projects uh, table associated where the filter is automatically filtering down for a class of history. Now when we add new rows, you can see that the history class is automatically filled out. So this is making it easy for us to define this sort of dashboard for each of our classes, in this case, the history class, to link these ideas together. Okay, so now let's quickly go through the rest of the tags here. On exams, we see that there are again a few properties. The exam date, just a date. Topics on the exam, just the text. The checkbox for if you finished. And then again, this class link for classes with a specific tag. Projects, we can configure in a similar, similar way. Status of single select, classes with that special link we discussed. And then lectures again are similar, just a class with a link, the status, and the lecture date. If you wanted to, for example, structure your lecture notes in a more special way, you could do so just by creating a template here. And then maybe you want special sections. Maybe you want to have raw notes, flashcards, screenshots from the lecture, whatever you would like. You can customize your template here and then have this automatically copied into any lecture notes for yourself. So that's it. Again, you can go to the link in the description to import this dashboard automatically and get this really powerful system for organizing all of your classes, assignments, exams, and more. 
watch the other video linked in the description as well if you want to learn more about the tags and template system in RemNote and how you can build your own dashboards like this and customize this all to your needs. Happy learning!